prove that 1 equals hyperbolic cotangent square s minus hyperbolic cosecant square of x. Now, how do we do this? Please kindly like, share, follow, and comment for us to build the mathematics community. Now, we take hyperbolic cotangent square of x is equal to hyperbolic cosine square of x divided by hyperbolic sine square of x minus hyperbolic cosecant square of x the same as 1 divided by hyperbolic sine square of x. Since the denominator are the same, we just simplify the numerator to get hyperbolic cosine square of x minus 1 all divided by hyperbolic sine square of x. Now, hyperbolic cosine of x is defined as e to the power x plus e to the power negative x divided by 2. So, we just square it and subtract 1 from it. And then, you divide all of this expression by hyperbolic sine of x is e to the power x minus e to the power negative x all divided by 2 and then we square it that's very great so it has just left with simplification now we're gonna expand so we take e power x squared that is e power x times e power x that gives e power 2x now we take this and we take 2 so 2 times e power x times e power negative x that gives 2 times e power x minus x that gives 2 times e power 0 that gives 2 times 1 which is 2 then we take e power negative x and square it to get e power negative 2x all divided by 2 squared is 4 then here we have minus 1 wow I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Give me a like, follow me, and share for us to build the mathematics community. Now let's simplify this. We multiply negative 1 by 4. That gives negative 4. And divide all by 4. That is very simple. Now let's expand this. We take e power x and square it to get e power 2x. We multiply 2 by e power x times e power negative x to get 2. And this gives positive e power negative 2x. All divided by we square 2 to get 4. Now we change the division to multiplication and turn this outside down to get 4 divided by e to the power 2x minus 2 plus e to the power negative 2x. Now we take 4 from 2 to get e to the power 2x minus 2 plus e to the power negative 2x all divided by 4. Now 4 cancels 4. All these expressions cancels all this expression. And we have one on one, one on one. So this is one. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow for us to build the mathematics community.